All right, so in this problem, we have four linear functions, and we want to know which of the following functions represents this line right over here that's labeled b. All right, so now that we can see more clearly our line, let's try to depict what we know from the linear function on the graph. So we know our y-intercept in this case is going to be right over here, and if 1 is here because halfway is halfway of 2 is 1, so we know that our y-intercept is going to be at 0 0.5. All right, so now let's try to fi figure out what our slope will be, and then we can build our intercept form formula, which is y equals mx plus c. All right, so now our m is going to be figured out our slope. We're going to figure it out by finding two points on our graph and then using our slope formula. So our first point that we've already picked out is 0, 0 0.5. And our second point can be right over here, which is negative 0 0.5, 0. All right, so now let's use our slope formula. And let's plug these values in to find our slope. So we're going to do y1, which is 0 0.5 minus y2, divided by 0, which is our x1, minus our x2, which is negative 0 0.5. All right, so now let's simplify this. We have 0 0.5 on the numerator, and we are dividing it by a negative and a negative make a positive, so we're dividing it by 0 0.5. All right, so when we have two values that are being the same value that is being divided by one another, it simplifies to 1. All right, so now that we know our slope is 1 and our y-intercept is 0 0.5, let's plug it into our formula. Our formula states y equals m, which is 1, x plus c, and our c is 0 0.5. So this is the function we have to be looking for in our answers. And as we can tell, we can already cancel out A. Let's try to see if B states the right answer. So we have here, if we move this around to see to the way that we stated our y-intercept form, we have y equals 4x minus 1. And both the m, the slope, and the y-intercept is incorrect. Therefore, B is also disqualified. And now let's move over to C. We have, let's move it on over to here. We have 2y equals 2x plus 1. I just switched around the values. And now, in order to simplify, in order to isolate y, we are going to divide 2 on both sides. And if we do so, we have y equals 2 divided by 2x divided by 2, which gives us x, plus 1 divided by 2, which gives us a half, or 0 0.5. All right. So this equation is exactly what we have written over here, except this half can also be written as 0 0.5, which is exactly this. All right, so we found our match, and C will be the right answer, and let's take a quick look why D is incorrect. Let's write it right over here. We have 2y equals x plus 2. Now, if we want to isolate y, we'll divide 2 on both sides, and we have y equals half x plus 1. Now this is almost correct, but the m and the y-intercept are switched. This is the y-intercept, which is 1, and it should be half, and this is the slope, which is half and should be 1. So that's why d is eliminated, and we are left with c to be our final answer.